to do it. Oh, you can just attack. Yeah, maybe it does it every half hour, like automated or something like that. Maybe. Or maybe they see us here. Maybe what do they end up playing? That's an intense uh, support system. Yes, it is. So the black thing up the top, that's the white field corrector? Well, it's a whole bunch of stuff, but the corrector's in there. Right. Mm -hmm. What happened is this clamp, one of the bolts apparently was stressed and it let the weight of the mirror slip through the clamp so that the, the mirror actually came and touched the, um, the hub here. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as that contact was made, they got a donut. Yeah. <coughs> um, so because a few years ago, we were trying to do more and more with less people. We started doing less, um, less of the segment setup and alignment. Mm -hmm. Because all of them, there were lots of problems that we found that we corrected. And so we went through the whole array, you know, where everything got set up. But on the next round, we kind of decided to do less and less so that we didn't spend as much time here. Mm -hmm. and, um, this, that might be one of the reasons that we have a few more problems. It's like, you know, it's a trade-off statistically. Yeah. Yeah. Many, but anyway. Um, so you can monitor sort of each of the segments individually and pinpoint where you think problems are coming from? Well, or at this point you just know if it's some certain point in the field that that corresponds to? One of the yeah. Um, so the, the, the segments are, the position of the segments is monitored off the edge with these, we call it SAMs, the Segment Alignment Maintenance oh, System. Okay. So it's a just a little, um, the it coils in a in a sensor that measure relative. Uh, it's an inductive voice uh, coil. Uh, no. Kind of like that, but but anyway. So one, there's one on either mirror, and so it sees the relative the shift. So when you first line it up, you get the the gap correct for whatever the temperature is and then you align the shear and the, the cross shear and and so then you you get that where you get all your numbers to close to zero and then you say oh this is my reference so then if the mirrors move it you read that and then then it sends a signal to the actuator to drive it up or down it's just a feedback on that air yeah they're they kind of act like a um, like a encoder system, uh, except that it's not. You know, it's the 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 sensors would act like the encoder, mm -hmm. and then Sam's is every 20 seconds reads like there's 473 sensors. So every 20 seconds it goes through the array and provides all the corrections. So it's it's tip and tilt and piston, and so in theory. Um, you should be able to keep all 91 segments pointed to the same location and at the right piston. Um, so that goes on all the time. And then if, like last night, they just couldn't find one of the uh, segments. Like, So you were talking about, is there a, like a laser that goes right. out for a spot? So, you, so it just shoots out a... Uh, a light and you get a return spot. Right. And so what they call stacking is they, um, if all of the mirrors were misaligned, then you have 91 spots on the camera. Right. And so there's a algorithm that says, oh, well, it must be this one. And so it, it keeps moving them. And so it just puts them one on top of another. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you've got tip and tilt, right. but you don't necessarily have piston. Mm -hmm. And um, so we, Part of our, we have a DMI, uh, oh, okay. so it, it measures the piston. Um, so if you're tracking when you get a return off of the segment that you're on, 
and it holds the entire, it provides a correction for the entire array oh, okay. based on that segment. So then when you go from across the gap from one to the other, if there is a step, then it will try to move the entire array to whatever. Oh. You know. <laughs> so you have to be you have to be right yeah. really to begin with for mm -hmm. it to work optimally. Mm -hmm. um, so that's part of one of, the, one of the things we do for the alignment mm -hmm. is when we install a segment is um, to run the DMI over all those segments that are new so that they're piston correctly. Mm -hmm. um, also, you have to get the tip tilts mm -hmm. you know close enough that they can find them by stacking automatically. 